morning grade sevens it is time to move on to adding and subtracting mixed numbers that are unlike which means that they've got different denominators so on page 93 we're going to look at the examples there the first example is one and a third plus three and a six now straight away you can see that we have different denominators. We will change the 3 into a 6. And in order to do that, we times top and bottom by 2. So your new sum will be 1 and 2 over 6 plus 3 and 1 over 6. Denominators are the same, so we can go ahead and add. Whole numbers first, 1 plus 3 is 4, numerators, 2 plus 1 is 3, and they are both over 6. We can simplify that answer, whole number stays the same, and if we divide top and bottom by 3, we will get a half. Example 2 is 3. And a third minus one and three over five different denominators we need to find a number that three and five fit into if we times three by five we get 15 so our new sum will have 15 as a denominator for both sides. 3 times by 5 is 15, so we must do the same to the top. 5 times by 3 is 15, so we do the same to the top. But now we have another problem. 5 is smaller than 9, so we're going to have to borrow from the whole number. So 3 is 2 plus 1. And our denominator is 15. So our whole number that we've borrowed is 15 over 15 plus our 5 over 15 minus 1 and 9 over 15. 15 plus 5 is 20 notice how I have repeated this over and over again I cannot leave it out otherwise it is not equal to the line above 2 minus 1 is 1 20 minus 9 is 11 and that is my final answer. I cannot simplify it anymore. Grade 7s, so I'm going to do this sum again in a different way. Because it's important that you choose the way that suits you. So let's redo that problem again. 3 and 1 over 3 minus 1 and 3 over 5. This time, I'm going to make both fractions into mixed numbers. Now remember we called these the hamburger sums. 3 times 3 is 9 plus the 1 is 10 minus 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8. So we have two improper fractions now but they still have different denominators. So we're going to change them both into 15. If I times this one by 5, I must times the top by 5. If I times this one by 3, I must times the top by 3. So our new sum will look like this. 50 over 15 minus 24 over 15. My denominator remains the same. 50 minus 24 is 26. And now I must simplify it. 
15 goes into 26 once remainder 11 over 15. And you will notice that this answer is the same as that answer. Different methods, both with the same result. It is up to you to decide which one you prefer. If we turn over the page to page 94 and look at example 3, it goes like this. 3 and 1 over 5 minus a quarter plus 1 and a half. Now remember that bod mass tells us that if plus and minus are in the same number sentence, we work from left to right. But our first problem, grade sevens, is that we have a fifth, a quarter, and a half. We need to have like denominators. Five and four both fit into 20. Two also fits into 20. So I think that would be a good denominator to choose. Five times by four, we must do the same to the top. Four times by five, we do the same to the top. Two times by ten, we must do the same to the top. Now we have like denominators and we can now do the sum. We'll do the subtraction part first. 3 minus nothing is 3. 4 cannot subtract 5. So we're going to have to borrow from the 3. Erase this 3. 3 is 2 and 20 over 20. 20 over 20 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus our 4 over 20. Minus 5 over 20 plus 1 and 10 over 20. Right, so our new sum looks like this. 2. That is 2 and 24 over 20, because I added those two together, minus 5 over 20 plus 1 and 10 over 20. 2 minus nothing is 2. 24 minus 5 is 19 over 20. And now I need to repeat this again, plus 1 and 10 over 20. 2 plus 1 is 3. 19 plus 10 is 29 over 20. This is an improper fraction, so we need to simplify. 20 fits into 29 once. So we add that to the 3, which makes 4, remainder 9 over 20, which I cannot simplify any further. Last one. I hope you're still with me. 1 over 8 plus 5 over 6 plus 2 over 3 minus 3 over 4. All different denominators. So we need to find something that all of these numbers fit into. 8 fits into 24, so does 6, so does 3, and so does 4. So I'm going to choose 24 as my denominator. Okay, let's convert them now. 8 times by 3 is 24, so I times the top as well. 6 times by 4 is 24, so I times the top as well. 
3 times by 8 is 24 times the top. And 4 times by 6 is 24. So I do the same to the top. Okay, now I can work it out. 20 plus 16 is 36 plus 3 is 39. So you'll notice that I added all of those together. Now I need to subtract 18 over 24. 39 minus 18 is 21 over 24. Can I simplify that? Yes, I can divide top and bottom by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And that is the answer to that rather long and complicated sum.